Okay, I'm going to show you how to tune your, your computer's PCI latency. Um, now this is a useful bit of troubleshooting if you're experiencing sort of audio performance problems such as clicks and pops and may maybe even connection problems with your FireWire interface. Uh, some troubleshooting that you can do after you've tried some more sort of basic things such as tuning your operating system uh, as the PCI latency can be the cause of uh, some of these problems. So basically, as suggested in the uh, PCI latency article, uh, what you need to do is download the PCI latency tool and install it. And this will allow you to adjust the PCI latency for all your computer's devices. Now it's important that all the other devices apart from your FireWire controller have low PCI latencies. Because what PCI latency is, is basically when, when your device needs to use a PCI bus, it won't release the bus until the latency time is counted down to zero. So if these latency times are high, then your interface is not going to be able to use the bus until it's counted down. And this, this can cause sort of interruptions such as clicks, pops, and even connectivity problems. So the best way to tune this is to reduce all other devices apart from your FireWire controller uh, to sort of a lower number. And you can even increase your FireWire controller um, just to see if that helps. Now it takes a bit of experimentation and it may not solve your, pr your problem because uh, it could be due to something else but it's definitely worth a try uh, as it can help. So I've opened up the PCI latency tool here and as you can see uh, there's quite a few PCI devices. Now only three of them actually have latency time uh, assigned to them which means that when they connect they they can reserve the bus for that, that sort of amount of time. Now we've got the SD uh, SD card controller. Um, we've got the IEEE -E 1394, which is your FireWire controller. So this is the most important one. And then we've also got the network adapter. Um, so first things first is to reduce the latency for all the other devices apart from the uh, FireWire controllers. So we'll, we'll do the SD one first. To do this, right click on it and click go change settings. A uh, window pops up asking for latency, new latency. So we'll reduce it to 32. And this means that it won't won't be using the bus for uh, as long. And we'll do the same for the network adapter. Okay. Um, what we can do is even increase increase the latency for the FireWire controller so that, that gets priority over the others. Um, so we can see that we've got the new values there. Once we've done this, go to the settings menu, click um, click apply if you want to apply it now. Um, apply on startup will make sure that it'll, um, this will happen every time you restart your computer and click save and that will save the settings. Um, that's pretty much all, th all there is to it. Now if you experience problems with your sort of network, if you're using that at the same time, uh, then you may have to experiment a bit and increase it a bit more, but you may find that this solves your problem.